Hi, I'm April. I'm a physical therapist assistant here at Health Point Physical Therapy. I'm Angela Stoner and I'm a physical therapist here at Health Point. We typically see Parkinson's patients in two, two different um, settings here. Through physical therapy, an individual will come in, usually referred by their physician, and we sit down with an interview with them and we do an evaluation where we check a bunch of different aspects such as their gait, um, their posture, their flexibility, their balance. We do some dual tasking, which is um, doing a functional task while also doing like a um, cognitive task. We look at transfers, we interview family members as well as the patient to try and figure out what specific things they're having trouble with. We do a lot of education um, and all of that comes from the referral from the physician and those physical therapy is one-on-one -on -one, um, and it's usually billed through insurance. But what we're very excited about is that we also have a our group exercise class. Which yes. So our group exercise class consists of a group class designed specifically for Parkinson's patients once a week. We meet in this studio and we work with our group and we work on increasing their aerobic capacity by increasing their heart rate. Yes. Studies have shown that increasing a Parkinson's patient's heart rate also increases their ability to use the dopamine, which help that helps them to be able to move more freely. We work on balance, try to break activities down into smaller pieces so they're getting it right. We also work on brain activity, getting them to use their brain while they're doing a certain activity, um, mm -hmm. such as something difficult. Counting by twos could be difficult for them while completing exercises. We also work on posture. We also work on functional transfers. And all of this exercise is done in a really fun environment. Our clients love to come in and talk with each other. A lot of them have become friends outside of class. And it's kind of, uh, it's good for their social aspect of things and also the psychosocial aspect of things that go along with Parkinson's disease. And according to the research, one of the best ways yes. for Parkinson's patients to have success with exercise is in a group setting. Yes. And I think we have done a great job of creating a safe, fun, energetic, place for the patients to come and feel part of a group and actually find support from one another. And all of our exercises that we do in here are research-based. A lot of things that we do are from um, the physical therapy guidelines, practice mm -hmm. guidelines um, through the American Physical Therapy Association, which they get through going over a lot of studies and things like that. So everything is definitely research-based. And the biggest thing too is we just have a lot of fun doing it. We do.